Chicken and sweet corn. That's good. I can't use it now, I don't know I'm doing it from. Right. Hello. Right, um, this is the dashboard out of Rosie. And it was a little bit tatty. There was nothing particularly wrong with it, but I had to take it out because I had to take the dashboard out and do all the bulkhead work. So I thought I'd take the opportunity to just freshen it up a little bit. I share a couple of little things that I've done with you. Uh, first of all, taking out the switches. I didn't know. They have a little notch on each side of the switches. And there is a special spanner for getting them out. You can use such things. It just has two little lugs, which then slots over the switch of your choice, which obviously I can't do now that I'm showing you. And a bar goes through, turns you turn. Or you can do it like I did with a screwdriver and a hammer, which knackers them, I found. Another really interesting thing, I didn't know, the windscreen wiper switch. It looks like it should have a grub screw of some description. It's not, it's just a little push button. You just depress that button and this knob will come off. I, I wrestled with it for hours, it didn't work. I had to repair a little bit of it with super glue and bits of paper. Well, these instrument dials, the, 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 the dial clusters. Yeah, that's a dial cluster, that's just a dial. They're, they're held on with these um, little towers with an arm on it and a screw on the top. So I'll take out the speedo, just undoes like this. A little screw there, a little screw there. And there are these little arms, which just attach over the screws. This one has a little locking washer on it. And then the whole thing just drops out. Drops out the front. Same applies to the other one. Now, an interesting little thing. I took the front face here off here. But when I did, I noticed there was this black stuff in there, a sealant of some description. So having cleaned up these and repainted them, I then reapplied what I thought was silicon sealant, only to find out it is just a rubber washer. So I spent hours and hours farting around needlessly when I could have just got one of these, put it in, wallop, there you are. Easy peasy. Didn't do that. Stupid. Should have. But I noticed it when I came to refit them that they didn't fit very well. So I have now these, uh, I suppose they're silicon, maybe rubber little washers, little rubber washers, which come in nicely and slot in. But I also, as soon as I've got the whole thing out, I've taken the liberty, first of all, of replacing this unit, which was very corroded. All of this was extremely corroded all the way around, so I've cleaned it off, repainted it. Looks much, much nicer. All that corrosion gone. Also, took the liberty of purchasing a set of dashboard bulbs, LED ones which use less energy, last longer, and they're cooler. And since there had been a fire there previously, I thought it's a good idea. The only one I've actually replaced at the moment is this one here. First, I thought it was one of the taller ones, like this one, uh, but it's not, because the recess has a little green, like a light filter. There'll be bulbs for the indicators and other bulbs, but they're all here in the pack. But there we are. We insert the unit. And I'll just put, put the leg on, attach the screw. Now, while I'm telling you this, I'm going to diverge. My missus took me to see Bohemian Rhapsody. And I have to say, it was very, very good. Well done. Good work there, chaps. The chap playing Freddy did a very, very good job. Surpassed only, I think, by the chap playing Brian, who, it could have been Brian. Very good work. But young gentleman playing Freddy, well done. You brought a tear to my eye. Well done, young men. Excellent work. Only one thing that I didn't like. I'm a bass player. <laughs> I have to say that John Deacon was sort of portrayed as being a bit of a goober, which I suppose he may well be. I've never met the fellow. 
But all I will say is, uh, uh, Diki, if you're out there, mate, just because you're the bass player doesn't mean you have to sleep in the basement. You know what I mean? All right, good. Uh, I'll put the whole face here with all this stuff taken off. Went into the washing machine, so, and then it came out a very sort of white, nasty-looking colour. So all I've done is cover the whole thing with a spray of furniture polish. It's come up lovely. Somebody said you should use satin spray paint on. No, no, that'll chip off, and it'll look like shit. Wax. Easy peasy. By the way, the little doodads that tell you what um, each switch does they're off another dashboard, which was knackered. But it had the little signs, so I nicked those. And they look parka. Now, one last thing I'm going to tell you. The Miles Reset. It was broken on Rosie, so I've got a replacement. This should just slots in. But the washer and screw that holds it all in is aluminium, bright white aluminium, which really stood out to my eye. So I've just taken the liberty of spray painting those satin black replace them and sits in a bit better. All the terminals are cleaned up. No corrosion on the terminals anymore. That is my renovated so far, but not finished that dashboard. But there we are. Essentially rebuilt. Anyway, Christmas is coming in a couple of days and I've got to go back to playing the red man. I know I'm not supposed to say things like that, but it's really hard. <laughs> and for anybody who's out there who's cross that I've got a hot cup on a Series 1 Land Rover, I've, I've put a placemat down. You're OK. This is the, the Land Rover diesel manual, which I don't use because mine's petrol. Carry on. <coughs> right.